As a student, I was a little bit frustrated with research done in cell biology because it all used cells cultured in bottles. And I felt that was very far from their right home, living in the tissues. As time went on, I came to work on this sort of molecular tools developments. Uh, I realized that, that the, the tools I was working on could really be used to try to analyze molecules directly in cells in their native position in tissues, try to increase the number of, of RNAs we can study simultaneously in, in cells and tissues and uh, add on other modalities like mutations and things that, that they could give us a richer view of the diversity, the cellular and molecular diversity of, of the healthy and diseased tissues. It was perfect separation. I targeted a single nucleotide variant in the mitochondrial genome, two different cell lines that had a single nucleotide difference. And I could clearly distinguish these two cell lines, red dots in one and green dots in one. And the other realization was that these amplified products in the cell, they, they just stay there. So we can, we can repeatedly interrogate them with the hybridization, all kinds of next generation sequencing chemistries and things. So that was a net second, maybe, Eureka moment. What motivates me every day to push the boundaries further is that I really think going spatial, going to tissue level analysis will give us a lot more powerful information to try to, to understand normal and disease conditions. Instead of just doing one RNA at a time, we could get the picture of the distribution of hundreds of uh, RNAs same time and the co-expression patterns of RNA. That will greatly increase your ability to interpret your single cell data. The data that we now have, that I see on my computer that my co-workers produce and analyze, it's like science fiction. This, this was just not possible to think 10 years ago. What I see in, in front of me is a full body model of a healthy human person. And um, we would have a detailed understanding of why every tissue, how they would work normally. And then, you know, being able to extract features from diseased individual, map it back to normal. And you would see all the, the things that are deviating. And of course, with that kind of knowledge, we should also have uh, by, you know, in a couple of decades, we would have a, a solution for all of these conditions.